I was driving the Jeep, and I got the, you know, you can see it out there, the doors are off. And I love this season of the year with the doors off. I'm just relaxing, listening to some good 80s, and uh, I'm just going. And I come to a red light, and uh, right there's a, a car in front of me, and nobody else around, and so I stop. And I noticed that they had a, the old church bumper sticker, I love my church, on the back there. So I was like, wave, you know, I, I do, I'm like waving, but, and, and I, looking at hindsight, I think she was on her phone doing something, uh, whatever, but she didn't notice, and so I kind of went back to the 80s uh, music and just kind of listened along, and then it turned green. Now, my question to you all, and I think this is perfect to do out here today, because we got those that are the, out there in the cars, how long do you wait when it's green before you give the courtesy honk? How long is that? Now, I hope that Livermore Bible Church, none of you are the ones that are on it right away, where you're like, calm down, Frederick, it just turned green. But how long do you wait until you give like the little, like, you want to be patient, you want to be godly. So I was going to do a little thing here today. I got a red light, green light. And so, especially you cars out there, I want to hear a honk from you. About the time when it turns green that you would probably give a little courtesy honk. And if you want to, out here, anybody else sitting, if you want to sort of holler out, beep, beep, I'd love to know about the time that you would honk. All right, so here we're sat at the light, and it goes green. So stop it. No, stop it now. Stop it now. I'm going to do a whole sermon on patience next week. One, two. Yeah, about that, right? Maybe. You know what, though? Because they're, they're Living Word Bible Church family, uh, I gave it a little bit longer, right? And then finally, I'm like, okay, they don't know. It's great. Like, I just want to give a little courtesy. Here's the problem with the Jeep. It's not like, like some of my old cars in the 80s and 90s. I don't know if you remember the horns. Like, you could barely touch the horn and it go beep, beep, right? Remember? Boop, boop. It was just simple and easy. But the new cars today, it's like, no, you got to have about 72 pounds of pressure to be able to get that thing to honk, right? And so I went like this. I went like that to give a quick, and it just did nothing, right? And I did it again. It did nothing. So I had to push it. But the way the Jeep goes, hey, we don't do we wussy beeps. We don't. We do manly beeps. That's the only beeps we do. And so I had to push it. When I beat it, I went, ah, ah. And so it did sound aggressive in her defense. It did sound, but it wasn't meant to be aggressive, right? And so, right? And before the sound could reach her, I believe, she had her hand out the window telling me I was the number one pastor in Arizona. <laughs> no, it was fast. It was, I don't even know how you, you, you possibly even could do it that fast. And, of course, it's Livermore Bible Church, so I laughed, I smiled, it was not a big deal, but I thought I'd have fun, so I, I, I accelerated, right? She went slow at first, and then she kind of went, so I accelerated, I want to get beside her, kind of to find out who the heck you are, and not, right? But to say, hey, howdy, right? And so as I pulled aside, her head turned, and her head, she was angry, right? But then, remember, the doors are off the Jeep, so you got a full view of Scotty, right? But her view went from angry to surprise <laughs> to what I think was scared and then no honest to God she I don't she disappeared she yanked the wheel and went somewhere I don't know if there was a turn she went in the ditch she went in the trees I don't know she just was gone I'm like gone she goes 